Cut across and head him off. Talking, Enoch. What were you doing on our rangeland? Nothing. Then how come you tried to duck out and we spotted you? Well, I was sort of surprised when I seen you three musketeers and... and having a guilty conscience, you decided to beat it, huh? You boys got me all wrong. I ain't never touched your cattle. I was laying my traps for wildcats on your range when you come along. The animals in that national park's been killing your stock. I can prove it to you, too, if you let me. Then climb on your horse and show us. That skull was crushed by a heavy blow. Only a bear kills that way, Stoney. A lot of bear tracks around here, too. Come on, boys. We're going bear hunting. Right now. Enoch, I'm plumb sorry we suspected you. That's all right, too, son. After this, when I want to do any trapping on your land, I'll ask. inside the park. They never heard a shot in their lives. <laughs> They're going to hear one now. Just catch us in the park with firearms, we'll be fine. Well, come on! in any hurry to get out of the park, were you? Well, <laughs> now that you mention it, Captain Brady, I reckon we were. I don't have to tell you the park regulations. Turn over your gun. We trailed a calf-killing bear in here from our range, and it's got to be destroyed. Nothing doing, Stoney. You know the law absolutely prohibits shooting anywhere within the park boundaries. Oh, but look at our side of it, Brady. Your mountain lions and bears come out of the park, and they kill off our stock. Well, that's your lookout. You look after your cattle, and I'll look after my game. <laughs> No moth-eaten bear is going to kill my cow and then laugh at me. 
Whoa, Stoney. We'll get our in them later. Well, this is something I can't overlook. Hand over that gun. Yours, too. Your rifle. Where's your gun, Lullaby? What gun? Put up your hands. <coughs> you can get your guns back at the ranger station by putting up the regular fine. Thanks. We've got to fight this thing to a finish and get out of the cattle business. There's more ways of killing the bear than shooting him in a game refuge. What do you want to do? Choke him to death with calf meat? Did it ever occur to you that Enoch Dawson and his mountain clan make a living trapping wild animals? Oh, so what? I get it. Let's pay him a visit. See me sometime. I think you can make it now. Your wings are healed. Spread of yours for broken wings. Gee, lullaby, it's swell. You ought to have seen the bird had just cured. Set him free only a minute ago. If I'd known you were coming out, I'd kept him. And say, you ought to see all the patients I got in the hospital now. Well, let's take a look at him. You want to come too? <laughs> no, thanks, baby. Where's your father? Why, uh, you mean Big Ed Dawson? Yeah, that's right. He's my stepfather. You'll find him and Enoch down the pen feeding the foxes. How's Elmer? I reckon he's down a little. You all right, Elmer? Whew. Riding behind you on that old nag of yours just about gets me. <laughs> Say, let's take a look at them animals, Davy. I've come a long way to see them. Sure thing, Elmer. Come on. I hunch we'd need some of your relatives here. Just for that, I'm going to hang you up. This badger here was one of my worst cases. He was shocked so bad, I didn't think he was going to live. <laughs> you ought to be a doctor when you grow up. <laughs> That's what I want to be. Where'd you get the coons? <laughs> I caught them on the track line. Pa Dawson said I could keep them because their furs wasn't fine. But I'm going to let him go before it is. Uh, what become of that uh, mountain lion cub that you raised last year? Well, I had to chase him back into the wild before Pa Dawson found out about him. But sometimes he comes and he hears me give that coyote call. But look at here, I ain't showing you nothing yet. That's just about the cutest thing I ever did see. Thanks for telling us about the lion and Echo Canyon, boys. It was mighty nice of you to throw most a hundred dollars bounty money our way. Well, you're welcome to it, Ed, if you can kill that lion. Trappers and cattlemen should stick together. Yeah, that's why we came over, to tell you about the bounty on bears. <laughs> you're fun of me. There ain't no bounty on bears. We're paying the bounty, Ed. Fifty dollars a piece for every bear hide you trappers can show us. And you keep the hides. You're gonna pay out a lot of money. Yeah. Guess we'll have to if we want to stay in the cattle business. 
Yeah, it's too bad. Say, the whole Dawson family's over to the house this afternoon. Why don't you come over and tell them about it? Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, hello, Enoch. <laughs> Say, that's a fine bear you got there. Oh, I reckon he's all right. Davy brought him in here with a hurt paw. He ain't never been out of the barn since. Say, where's uh, Tucson Stoney? Up the house at Big Ed. Hey, Davy, ain't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. I'll tie him up right away. Got him tied up good. Come here, Davy. <laughs> oh, come on. I got something for you. <laughs> what I told you not to tell anybody about Miro. Stop this sniveling and get into the house. What's going on? Oh, just a wedding. Turn him loose. All lay off, Stoney. Oh, well, that monkey isn't going to marry Lorna. She's only a child. She wants to marry with her cousin Charlie. Don't you, Lorna? 
Yes, I... I guess so. Of course she does. Our mountain girls like to settle down young. Ain't that right, Ma? Well, I'm not going to let him marry her, Ed. And neither would you if she were your own daughter. I think as much of my stepchildren as I do of my own boys. Well, then stop this wedding right now, or I will. You get out and mind your own business. Nah. Take it easy, Stoney. All right, Parson, you fix it. You men all want to go to jail? What for? You're forgetting that this state has a law protecting children. She can't marry until she's 16, whether she wants to or not. Well, I guess we won't stay for the wedding. Because now there won't be any. Will there, Ed? I reckon not. Thanks for warning us, Tucson. You're welcome. Come on, lullaby. Don't forget you're on the water wagon. <laughs> I, I don't know how to thank you all. Oh, shucks, Lorna. We didn't do nothing much. We just... Whoa! Did you say anything to them friends of yours about the beef we've been selling? If either of you talks one word about cattle rustling, I'm taking it out on her. Understand? What's getting into Big Ed anyhow? Is he the head of this family or is the three musketeers running it? Listen, Charlie. If we fight with them their ranches, we can't make any more money out of them, can we? And right now, we've got them so darn well fooled, they come here and offer us a bounty of $50 a piece for theirs. What? Yeah. We sell their beef to the park hotels and sell the park fares to them. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going bar hunting? <laughs> Special orders for today, let the tourists take care of themselves. The three musketeers have threatened to clean out every bear in the park, and they're living up to their reputation for keeping their word. If you run across any of them on park property, armed, make an arrest. That's all. Not a ranger in sight. We'll take one more bear and then we'll quit. Yeah, we ought to save enough to cover a little cattle rustling later on. Davy, you run the trap line. And remember, if you get caught, you're trapping for yourself. If I catch you turning any more fur loose, you'll get a worse hiding than you had yesterday.
see anything of the musketeers? Well, keep your eyes open. They're working cattle around here somewhere. On the cliff. No time to ride up. They gotta take a long chance. Hey, drop that gun. Hold it, Brady. Take your time, sir, son. You aren't going to leave the little cub, are you? 
We'll rope him from above. You might knock him off. Well, all right. All our way, Tucson. Where you hurt, Davy? His leg's broken. We'll phone from the ranger station and have a doctor at Dawson's for the time you get there. Thanks. Uh, we'll be back to face any charges you may want to make. Well, that won't be necessary. I suppose you were justified. But remember, the next time you pull a gun on me, watch out. Whether I pull a gun on you again is up to you. I'm getting tired of your interference. I'm warning you, boys. The next time you're caught in the park with firearms, you'll be arrested. Come on. Come on, Tucson. We have to cut some poles. Well, this accounts for your dead calf. Bear tracks again. Hmm. Hey, Tucson. When did you see Davy last, Lullaby? A couple of days ago. Boy, get your hand on that cut like nobody's been. What do you suppose punched all those little holes in the ground? Looks like somebody been using a cane. Or a crutch, maybe. Davy's got a tame bear, too, hasn't he? You're local if you think that's stony. Well, Davy wouldn't help rustle our cattle. Well, he couldn't help himself if Big Ed or Enoch forced him to it. Well, if we get to Dawson's, compare these bear tracks with Nero's, will you? Davy, how are you, huh? All right. <laughs> Hi, 
has tricks, Tucson. Oh, no, not so good, Dave. We're losing our cattle faster than ever. Well, let's see how fast you're getting along. <laughs> See, Lorna, I can ride. How is it, cowboy? He's swell. I'm glad you like him because he's yours. And the other one is for Lorna. You're awfully good. And... Oh, well, we're not worth it. Oh, I don't know what to say. What's the trouble, Lorna? Oh, come on, come on, tell me. You're among friends. The Charlie Cole? Big Ed's planning to move further back in the woods. Well, I guess that means I have to marry Charlie. When does Big Ed plan on pulling out? Two or three days. Ma's packing now. Well, don't you worry. A lot of things can happen before then. Here's your pony, young lady. See if the stirrups are okay. Come on, come on. Pick it up. I said get down off of that horse. You ain't taking presents from nobody. I guess we won't be pals anymore, Lullaby. Now that you know I ain't been on the level with you. Not your fault, baby. You couldn't help yourself. 
I got them. Listen, Ed. If you ever let Charlie Cole put a hand on Lorna again, I'll come back and finish what I started, see? If Charlie can't take care of himself, none of us is going to help him. So may I. Take it easy, honey. How about the bounty on them last three bears we catch for you? We're heading back to the ranch for a few days, Ed. We'll bring the money over to you when we get back. It's all right, too, son. There ain't no hurry. You and your boys might keep an eye on our stock while we're gone. You'd be trapping on our range anyhow. Be plumb glad to, lullaby. You think we can keep an eye on their cattle, boys? <laughs> 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 Is that all? All except him and the lion cub. Well, maybe we can keep this one. No, they all gotta go. I told you, if you turn any more animals loose, I'd give you a good hide. I'll let you off this time. Down, you old dog! Untie him and bring him along. But make sure you don't get close to me, you understand? We'll be back by sundown, Ma. Have everything packed and ready. All right, start riding! If that bear ain't got the hang of it. Yeah, he's left enough sign around here to account for a dozen cattle. Yeah, that's one way to get even. There's $300 out of them mesquiteers' pockets as soon as you deliver this beef of theirs to the Park Hotel. And they ain't got a thing on us. Enoch. Them musketeers still owe us $150 bounty money. I sure hate to pull out without getting paid. We well, ain't gonna pull out without getting paid. Start reaching. Keep your hands up. All of you turn around. Back this way. Look up. This is some of Davy's doing. He must have tipped them off.
Let's get these two first. Let's get back to the cabin and start rolling. Give me that gun, Stoney. You're under arrest. What do you mean I'm under arrest? Here's the man you want. Caught him and that Dawson clan rustling our cattle. All right, I'll take you both back to headquarters. Now listen, Brady. I warned you, Stoney, about bringing firearms into the park. Shot in the back. Stoney did it. I heard him threaten Brady a couple of times. Ranger to do it. You dumb. Grab an armful of that stuff and get out of them wagons. Don't stand here, Cleveland. Get a move on. Where 
trail in Stony Brook. He killed Captain Brady a little while ago. Ain't seen a soul around all day, Clayton. Well, if you see him, don't take any chances. Don't worry none about that. We don't like him any better than you do. Excuse me, ma. Stoney's gonna have a hard time shaking them rangers. Get on the wagons and we'll start moving. I ain't moving without Davy. Dead gone. I tell you, we'll pick him up on the trail. Lorna, Charlie Cole killed Brady. Yes, I heard him tell Big Ed about it. Well, I'll have to bring him in to clear myself. Slip out and try and get word to Tucson and Lullaby, will you? All okay. right. Stony. Well, believe it or not, I, I guess I'm all right. Hiya, Clayton. All right, Stony, up with him. No, you're wrong again, Clayton. Charlie Coe shot Brady. It's true. I heard Charlie tell Ed about it.
I've got a trap set to catch any kind of an animal you'd want to catch. That's slick. <laughs> what kind of an animal would you like for me to catch for you? A skunk. Well, you want to be careful, because these traps are dangerous. Hey, help! Help! Get out from here! Hey! 